Welcome to At The Vanguard. We're TB Vanguard, and our motto is for fans, by fans. We showcase fans on the front line of the Team Breezy movement. This podcast is an open forum to discuss current topics as they relate to Chris Brown and his fan base. Hey everybody, welcome to At The Vanguard. Today is June 24th, 2019. We've got a great podcast for you guys tonight. We'll go around and say our names. I'll start. I'm Nikki. Paula. I'm not curious. I'm Jessica. I'm Shay. I'm April. I'm Daniela. I'm Island Tammy. Hi, I'm Tasha. Tammy. Okay. So tonight, we don't have a lot on the agenda, but we probably have a lot to talk about. The main thing, we'll start with Chris released that since the last podcast. So, did everybody hear the song? Um, I'll go to a round robin and ask everybody, you know, what they think about the song. Tammy, I'm sorry, I'm um, your Tammy. Uh, which song? Which song are we talking about? The song is Heat. Which song? Heat. I, uh, I know. I, I haven't heard it yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard that I haven't heard it yet before y'all got me. So. I was telling me. I heard it. And of course, I love it. I love it. Of course. <laughs> okay. Um, Jay? I like the song. The beat is good and the chorus is really catchy. It is. Okay. All right, Nikiria? I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. April? I like it too. Okay. Everybody's being brief about it though. <laughs> D, what did you think about um, it? I like it. I, I thought it was a pretty good song. It was a surprise though, but I like it. I, yeah. <laughs> um, Tasha? So, at first, when I first heard it, I was like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> and then I listened to it again. <laughs> And then I listened to it again. I really paid. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I like this. I like this. I like like the vocals on it. The background harmonies were real good on it. Um, yeah, I like it. Looks well, cool. I wasn't expecting another single, but it's okay. We rolling with it. We rolling with it. Yes. We rolling with it. <laughs> Daniela, did I ask you? No, not yet. <laughs> but... What do you think about? It? I like. I kind of liked it, yeah, until I listened to it more, and it kind of grew on me, so yeah. I listen to it on the daily now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, it's one of the I had to grow on you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nikki, I guess, I guess I forgot to send you homework. You oh, did. No. <laughs> you did, but I don't, you know, I'm not the only one that didn't hear it, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, New York, Tammy. I am so disappointed. <laughs> I, I heard the clip. That's about it. Just the clip. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm getting confused. Chris got so many songs. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't. You know, the last one I it was easy, and then I remember uh, he dropped the uh, single with Gunna, but I think I, I probably did, but I don't remember. I haven't heard it over and over again. Right. Well, I mean, I've heard it, and, and at first, I'm, I'm like everybody else, but it had to grow on me, but really, it's, you really hear good vocals, and like, at first, yeah. it's like, okay, this is just another, you know, hit, but, you know, you know like, you know, a little street hit. But it's, it's got its own audience, you know, it's, it's, he's got beautiful vocals, it's got its own audience, it's not really, because com- I was like, oh, we don't need any competition for no no guidance, but it's not, because it's got a, its own audience. Um, no mm-hmm. guidance really has sort of a broad audience, but um, he has a specific audience. What are the predictions for no guidance tomorrow? Has anybody heard? I thought it came out today. Wait a minute. I thought it came out today at number 10 on Billboard. Okay. I didn't think it came out till Tuesday. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, the, um, the, Billboard, the Billboard chart posted it. The Billboard chart itself posted it. Well, it's still in the top 10, so we're, we're happy about that. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. It just went down one. Now, the predictions for Indigo, I've heard some very good predictions. Um, everything I've mm-hmm. heard says number one. 
Um, is Me anybody too. ready to or... Nope. I think everyone's heard. I heard number one, number one as well. Yeah. Because the streams are high. I, I, I did a post this morning. I didn't, I didn't post it, but I made a post showing the Spotify streams because we can't get the streams from from uh, Apple and, and Tidal, but it's still doing, no guidance is still doing well. It's, I know it sold 300,000 units. Is that, is that digital or, 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 or is that sale and streams? Do you know? Does anybody know? I think it's combined. Okay. Yeah, I think it's combined because okay. if it, if it wasn't, it would say pure sales. Okay. Thank you. Now, Sandy, I need, I need people to tell me things like that. Now we're talking, of course, the, the main thing is Indigo promo suggestions and, you know, what we what we plan to do for, can, um... Daniela has the floor right now. Let, let Daniela start. Okay, Daniela, you were saying that you had some suggestions? Yeah, um, I made, like, you know, uh, I went to my little iPhone note to whatever, and, you know, I wrote, I was like, I think Indigo is going to drop this Friday, June 28th. Make sure you get that, you know, hashtag Indigo, Indigo season stream undecided and back to love, wobble up, no guidance in heat all available on apple music and spotify have a wonderful day so i copied that i pasted it under like every comment section <laughs> i've been doing it for like the past three hours oh that's a great idea yes and i've been sending like um the little paragraph or whatever to people that have been asking for it so you know they can copy and paste it as well so we can get you know the word out okay so um you know can you dm that to me the little paragraph and what she's yeah. doing is she's Pasting that in, in just comment sections and yeah. different, it's really good to do that in blogs and things like that. So that's a great idea. Yeah, I just DM'd it. So, oh great, great. Okay, does anybody else have something? You just say your name and I'll know. Um, Natasha, I can go if you want. Oh, oh go, go ahead, I can. Go ahead, it's the same one. Well, we okay. have the same one. She can go ahead. Okay, so first we made the count countdown until the album comes out then second we try to get the hashtag indigo season and the other hashtag indigo season with the svn trend on okay. twitter so everybody can find out about that and then what we do is we also crop out like we get celebrities and acting like they're holding the album cover like we edit the picture to make it seem like they're holding the mm -hmm. album cover and post that around, and then we got a giveaway coming out too. That's a good one for launch day. I, I think that's a good one for launch day mm -hmm. for Friday. Hey, can I chime in on the contest a okay. little bit? Okay, so yes. for um the contest, that's um, mm -hmm. huh. so the one me and TBR has together, the breezy one, um, it's either going to be, you can send in a picture of yourself holding the holding your playlist, like you streaming on your phone, or you can mm -hmm. send a link to your last FM, or you can just do a screen record of your playlist actually playing, and we'll draw three winners from that. And the prizes, you can choose which one you want, either a free streaming service, subscription, a physical copy of the CD, and we have a mystery box, which they won't know what that is until they Ooh. Get Ooh. That's cool. So I'm, I'm going to call that the collab contest. Uh, uh, so, And then what's the other contest? And then the one that I started before that one is just um, most streams. Whoever has the most streams would win a physical copy of the CD, which um, they sent in their link for Last FM to be a part of that one. Okay. Great. Those are some great ideas. Um, he posted the um the poster that I sent to the room. He put it on his um life on the story. I saw that. Yeah. Can I add in something real quick? Yes. Okay. So what I had planned out for like the album day when I actually dropped that I was gonna uh, head over to you know the mall or like places where they have you know record stores where they sell like DVDs. And go in and literally grab all the copies and like make them visible, you know, all the physical copies and make them visible. And yeah, I already have planned out that I'm gonna go buy my physical copy the day it comes out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Make sure you have separate receipts. Yes, yes, yes. Right. I'm gonna do that. Okay. 
Lots of people copy the dead comes out, which is a good idea because, yeah, that way it'll, it'll flood it. Because when we buy it online, mm. it doesn't quite it doesn't quite count the day. It doesn't count the use until we ship it, I think. Um, and so about that. Um, which is why it's with the pre-order. You'll have it before. Right. I did do a pre-order. Yes, I did do a pre-order. And, and did everybody, mm-hmm. uh, the, the, the other thing. If you have tickets for the concert, you have to buy them in pairs. If you bought a pair of tickets, you should receive an email with um, uh, telling you the instructions to redeem the um, the concert the album. Um, I'm gonna tell me I'm gonna go ahead and use your your uh, redeem ticket just to show you know just to show what to do. Um, but anybody if you buy with somebody buy your concert ticket with somebody else. You know, it'd be good if you do it together, so at least you get one album, you know, one free album out of it. Um, but that has, has to be redeemed in order to count towards the bundle. So that's important. An important note. All right. I think it would be good, too, if we actually, like, push buying the album or buying some singles instead of just streaming. Right. Because um, that's going to work a lot faster and have a bigger impact. A lot better. Exactly. And buying. I think so too. Like I pre-ordered mine. I pre-ordered it. Um, I bought it. I got it with the ticket. And when it comes out, I'm actually going to the store and I'm buying a physical copy. Right. Mm-hmm. I did do on, on our puzzle page, which is our most popular page on our website. I have the links to the singles, but I'll make sure I do something. Let me make the album cover the puzzle for that day. That would be a really hard puzzle. And make sure the link mm-hmm. to the um, to buy it is underneath it. Um, and, and it'll come through pretty quickly because, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's it, you know, Apple Digital. Um, but yeah, I, just, I like I also do... Oh, you do puzzles? <laughs> I do them, yes. <laughs> do you do them on the website or do you do them on um, um, puzzle on the puzzle... Our website. I do them both. Um, I do it on your website, Google Vanguard, and then when I enlarge it, it goes off to like Puzzle Genie or something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I do them on you know, both. you know, if you can stream. You know, if you look to the side of the page, you can stream while you. Yes, yeah. you can stream. You can have playlist on the side. I and found stream it. while you play the puzzle. Okay. So I guess I am on DB Vanguard. I'm doing it on the Vanguard. Oh, great. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, oh, then oh, yeah, the launch day has hashtag. I think it is important to use both those hashtags. Now, to make them trend, this is something I, I was heavily on Twitter back in, in 2010, you know, in the 2010 and after, after the incident when things were really tight. Um, it all actually only takes about 15 people to make a trend, even though it doesn't trend for long with that number of people. But if we can get everybody to tweet at a certain time with the hashtag, it doesn't have to be about the album or about anything. You could, It could be about anything. And you could just have the hashtag in there, and that will make it trend. So, um, I'm trying, since Friday, it drops on Friday, I think during the day, it's the only thing the time zones are an, are an issue. But I think if we use both hashtags at the end of any tweet, you just copy and paste, have them paste, you're ready to paste, whatever you're tweeting about, paste that at the bottom, and if you can do that for like maybe 30 minutes, it, it would trend for a good while. I think we need to narrow down the time. What would be a good time for most people to tweet on Friday to try to make it trend for at least mm. a while? You think at 7? 7 p.m.? Yeah, it's yeah. going to have to be in the evening, yeah. Yeah, because okay. people will be at work and stuff, you know. Okay, then what time zone are you in? GT. I'm East Coast. If you're saying 7, if you're saying seven Central, then that would be 8 Eastern. Does that, does that sound like a good time for everybody? Mm-hmm. And 4 Pacific. Is anybody East Coast? I mean, West Coast? These, these are only West Coast as far as I know. Uh, Kiria, where are coast. you? Where, what, what time zone are you in? Oh, I'm, I live in the Central, in the Central time. Central time, okay. So, Alabama. So, it'll be 7 p.m. your time and 8, 8 p.m. Eastern and, what is that, um, 4 o'clock four. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. Pacific time. 
So D, you would still be at work. Um, well, I mean, it's it's five o'clock because eight o'clock. That's five o'clock my time, right? Three hours. Okay, okay. It's five so o'clock. So five. Yeah, five o'clock. Yes. Yeah. All right, five, five. Yeah, I can make it work. Okay. Or well, between eight and eight thirty, because we'll try to do it for like thirty minutes and see if we can get it to trend. But it really only takes fifteen to get it to trend. It will trend longer the more people that pick up on it. And I think a lot of people will, will retweet, which helps. Um, mm-hmm. And get some people to just put the hashtag Indigo Season, Indigo Season with SVN on you know, both of use both of them. That would get it trending that day. That would be a that would be a great time to do it. So we'll say between seven central and seven thirty, which is eight Eastern and eight thirty. Eight to eight thirty. Mm-hmm. So we'll make sure the sound bite will pull that out. And that's I mean that sounds like it. Does anybody have anything else? Mm-hmm. What did I think about the listening party that Chris had and and how he was so happy and everybody said that it was Music was Oh, that's right. The listening party happened after the last podcast. Yeah, like you looked really like you're having a great time. Yeah, I like but... that part when he was like, if my music is whack, y'all tell me and we'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up. <laughs> that was definitely our face. I know. I didn't want to post any of the songs because people get so, oh my God, hurry up and post it, hurry up and delete them. Type and um, um, release this and like, oh my god, because they get so crazy over just a little snippet. So, like, okay, let's just let's just kind of wait for it. So, I just did the part where he's talking about, um, you know, where he was just talking. Now, one time, I, one thing, just one other thing, and then, then we can turn off the recording and then talk about whatever we want. But, um, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was somebody said to, um, Mom Brady, to, to Joyce, um, why is there no meet and greet? D, could you explain the whole purpose of meet and greets? Maybe that would make people understand why they don't have them anymore. I can't really talk right now. Okay. The way I understand it, the reason I wanted D to do it because she really sort of understands how it works, but the way I understand it, that the money from a meet and greet, the, the purpose of the meet and greet is to pay for like peripheral, let's say, for lack of words, better words, staff. People who are there that the promoters don't pay for, um, extra people like he used to have his friends sometimes on the tour things like that and the meet and greets paid for them so basically it was paying for the extra board room and board for the extra people promoters pay for dancers and and real staff like that but extra people that come along they don't get and so he doesn't do that anymore so he doesn't need to do meet and greet and it's a strain on him too i mean it's an extra a lot of effort for him and work. Even though I know we, we all want to meet him, it's like an ex, a lot of extra work and effort for him. So that's pretty much why you don't see meet and greets anymore. So is that a good explanation, Dee? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, that pretty much sums, that it, sums up. it up. Definitely. Okay. So, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so we do better. Yes, yeah, so we do better to try to run into him on the street or go to when he comes to DP. In September, I'm going to the Target. There's a Target across the street from the lake. Me and I'm going to the Target. Because, <laughs> you know, he does stuff like that. It's like, okay, maybe he's going to go buy some socks and then Target. We're going to have to run into him in here. Uh, I don't know how I would react if I saw him somewhere. Oh, my God. I <laughs> think my pounding. We already been. <laughs> it's, I think it's kind of like less pressure if you just run into them somewhere too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like if it's a meet and greet, you just stand in there waiting, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But if you run into them, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't. That ain't that pressure. I got some days I want to leave, and I just put my hair in a messy bun. I don't want to run into Chris. <laughs> well, I mean, you know me like if he's there for like the concert or something, you prepare for that, right? Right. If he comes to town, I'm gonna go to Target, like you know, have a hair comb or have a wig hat on. Hey. I got like a messy bun, sweatpants on, run into Chris. Just my luck. 
<laughs> but but um but y'all get my hair combed or, or whatever before I go you can, I'm gonna go looking for him. Try to run into him. I remember the time this girl uh, was this when he was filming don't um don't think they know. A girl looked at him and it was like and she recorded Chris Brown is walking down the street. She was just like Chris Brown is walking down my street past my house. And he was just, he was flabbergasted. And he was just walking around wow. Compton. Yeah, Compton. She was thrown. But yeah, he he's a little too free to be you know, forget who he is sometimes, like just like Tasha says. Um, like Yes he does. You know, you need some security, bruh. We need you. We need the hair protection. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning into the podcast. We'll see Bye. you all next week. Bye. 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 Bye.